Here you go, Scott. You need this more than I do. Excuse me. Is that your dog? Yes, it is. His name is Scout. Poor thing. He deserves a better home. Not to be living out here on the street. Well, I wish I had a home. Just lost it recently and... The things have been so... It's really irresponsible of you. You shouldn't be taking care of a dog when you can't even take care of yourself. Hey, Scout. Is he even feeding you? Do you want a real home? I'm feeding him? I may not always eat, but I always make sure he's well fed. He's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. I'm going to call animal control. You don't deserve to have a dog. Hi, yes, this is Karen Kaufman. I'd like to report a case of animal abuse. Thank you. Man, it's hard. You must be hard too, huh? There he is. That's the guy that's neglecting that dog. Excuse me, sir. We have a report of animal neglect. When's the last time he's eaten? Just a few hours ago, I gave him my sandwich. Why? Yeah, right. You can tell he's obviously lying. That dog probably hasn't eaten for days. Do you have a home for him to sleep in? Well, it may not be considered a home to some, but we make it work. See? This dog needs a real home. Not to be stuck out here with him. Jacob. What do you think's going on over there? I think they're trying to take the guy's dog away. I'm gonna record it. Look, there's a new law that passed. If you don't have a home in this town, you can't have a dog. We're gonna have to take him. No, wait, please, you don't understand. I can't be without him. We both need each other. You see, I wasn't always homeless. I used to have a respectable job. And on one of my walks home from work, well, that's when I met Scout. He didn't have a home. And he just looked so sad. But when I took one look into his big old eyes, I just knew I had to take him with me. I brought Scout home and took really good care of him. I washed him every week. I fed him the best food. And before I knew it, Scout looked like a brand new dog. We were inseparable. And things were going great. That is, until a few months later, I lost my job. And all of a sudden, I had no income coming in. I got really behind on some bills and ended up owing $4,000 in rent. With no way to pay, we both lost our home. So you see, Scout needed me when he was homeless. And now, I'm the one that's homeless. So somehow, we both just need each other. Yeah, that's a great story and all, but, but we don't know how much of it is really true. Either way, rules are rules, right? Uh, right. Let's take him. What? Wait, no! Sir. I can't lose, Scout! Sir, sir, when you get your home back, you can have your dog back. If the dog hasn't found a home by then. Ready, Scout? Should we go find you a new home? No! Scout! Sir? I'm so sorry. I can't believe that happened to you. Yeah, it's so unfair. I mean, I saw how good you treated that dog. We gotta do something. It's no use. If I don't have a home, I can't have a dog. And unless I find a way to get $4,000, I'll never get Scout back. We gotta do something. Go fund me. 
What? We can start a GoFundMe. Look, we can uh, we can tell everyone about the story about how you found Scout, and I'm sure that people would want to donate. You really think that that's gonna work, Jacob? Yeah. Please just let me try it. <sighs> okay. If you think it'll work. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My computer's at home. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Jacob runs off so excited about helping to get Scout back to his rightful owner. He gets to his laptop and starts a GoFundMe page, telling the world all about Scout and the need to bring him back home. He sets a goal of raising $4,000. And before he knew it, the story about Scout ends up going viral. People all over the world start donating money. Jacob and his mom can't believe what just happened. And then, a couple of days later, Jacob and his mom go visit the homeless man. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hi. Wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again. Of course. Now look, we actually have a little surprise for you. What is it? Why don't you come with us? I know it seems strange, but can you put on the blindfold? <sighs> okay. Right here, almost there, and stop. <sighs> you can take off the blindfold now. <sighs> okay, this is my old apartment, but I understand what are we doing here? Actually, this is your new apartment. Here are your keys. What? <laughs> you paid off my $4,000 past due rent? Even better. We bought the unit from the owner, so you own it now. I own it? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> but I don't understand. You know the GoFundMe idea that we had? Well, let's just say that it worked and we got just enough money to buy the place. <sighs> wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is going to change my life. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, um, I have one more surprise. Let's go. Hi! Hi! I missed you so much. I can't believe you got Scout back. I can't tell you what this means to me. God bless you both. You're so welcome. God bless you too. <laughs> oh, aren't you just the cutest thing? No, 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 Daisy, come over here. Don't get too close. That's all right. I love dogs. It's not you that I'm worried about. Hey, honey. Did you know that there's now a homeless person in our neighborhood? I know. Anyway, I'm just about to head in. What time are you going to be home? Okay, I'll see you in a few. And don't miss mommy too much. See you later for dinner. You know I'm doing something a little special for you today, don't you? Oh, please. You know I don't care about my birthday. I know, but... What was that? You know, this whole neighborhood's going downhill. I'm gonna get Daisy. I'm coming with you. Oh, no, finish dinner. I'll be right back. Daisy! It's time for lunch. Daisy! Come and eat! Daisy! Daisy? Daisy! Come and eat! Daisy? <gasps> Daisy! 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 Hey! That's my dog! Get away from me! 
from her. Okay, but I... I can't believe you stole her from my house. I'm calling the police. Stole her? What are you talking about? I just saved her. Yes, hello. Would you send police over to 291 Vermont Street? A homeless man just tried to steal my dog. A unit's already in the area? Great, thank you. You have this all wrong. I didn't... Save it. I knew that there was something suspicious about you the moment I saw you. I can't believe you went in my backyard and tried to steal my dog. I never went in your backyard. Listen, I didn't even go near your house. I was just sitting and... Oh, hear that? <laughs> You're in big trouble. And don't you think I'm not gonna press charges? Hey, honey. Do you remember that homeless guy I was telling you about earlier? Well, I found the gate open and he had Daisy. Oh, you know what? I'll see you inside. I gotta go. I can't believe this. Over here. This is the guy. He stole my dog. No, that's not what happened. I was walking by him earlier and I noticed him looking at my dog strangely. And then, right after, he stole her from my backyard. Sir, is this true? Did you try to steal a dog? No, not at all. I was sitting here minding my business when I saw the dog running to the street. It was going straight towards the car. She probably would have gotten hit if it wasn't for me. Ha! Yeah, right. I'm telling you the truth. The car had to slam its brakes and everything. You can even see the skid marks. Oh, please, don't start believing this man. You can tell he's lying just by looking at him. Wow. You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. Sir, you said a car almost hit the dog? Yes, just a few minutes ago. Well, if that were the case, don't you think that person would have stopped, pulled over, and checked her? I am so glad you guys are okay. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Kim, I live right down the road. I was driving home when all of a sudden this dog just came out of nowhere and, and I tried my hardest to break and I totally would have hit it had it not been for him. He's a real hero. So this man saved this dog. Yes. Thank you for that information. Thank you. Fine. You may have saved Daisy from getting hit by a car, but how do you explain my gate being left open, huh? I don't know how that happened. Of course not. Daisy would never have been in the street had it not been for you trying to steal her. You know what? Let's not waste any more time. Arrest this man. Ma'am, I would need probable cause for that. Now, do you have maybe a camera or anything? Actually, I do. Let me pull it right up. There's me putting Daisy back in the house. See, I closed the gate. Well, can you fast forward to when the gate was opened? Sure. Oops, not too far. There it is. See, I told you it was... My husband? I'm so sorry, it was, it was me who left the gate open. But I thought you came home after me. No, I was already home. You see, when you called me earlier, what I didn't tell you is I had come home early to set up a little surprise for you. I know you don't like celebrating your birthday, so I didn't want you to know. I snuck out of the backyard so you wouldn't see me. I was in such a rush that I didn't realize I forgot to close the gate until you called me. So you see, it was me who let Daisy out, not him. Oh my gosh. I tried to tell you, it wasn't me. You're right, and I'm sorry. I shouldn't have judged you before getting to know you. It's okay. To be honest, I get stereotyped all the time, but I would never steal from anybody. I'm just a regular guy who's fallen on some hard times. Listen, I'm glad everything worked out for you guys. Have a good day. Thank you, officer. Yeah, I feel terrible that you got blamed for my mistake. Me too. Is there anything we can do for you? Buy you dinner or something? It's okay, really. I'll be fine. Actually, I have an idea. Are you still looking for a security manager? Yeah. What? I think we just found your man. What? Seriously? That's a great idea. How about I get you a hotel room tonight, and tomorrow I take you to see your new office? I honestly don't even know what to say. 
That sounds amazing. It's the least we could do. Huh, Daisy? Would you like to pet her? She's really friendly. You're a good girl. <laughs> oh, Daisy. You're a good girl. Hey, babe. Hey. How's it going? Good. Should we grab a bite? Sure. Perfect. Wait. Huh? Where's Daisy? What? You brought her to the office with you today, right? No, I, I thought she was with you. What? Just kidding, she's right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I barely even recognize you. Thanks. I guess I clean up pretty well. Here she is. I took her out for a walk. Aww. She seems to really like you. Would you like to join us for lunch? That sounds great. What do you say, girl? <laughs> You're awesome. I've been meaning to tell you so much. Oh, MG, oh, your dog, dog is, is so cute. cute. Can, Can we pet him? Sure. Is this King? Oh, King, that's so an adorable cute. name. Thank you. We're gonna get a dog soon. Yeah? But our mom says that we have to save up and pay for him ourselves. Aw, I'm sure that you guys will have fun in no time. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry, but I really need to go. You guys take oh, care. Me you too. too. Bye. Oh my gosh. Then we want a dog even more. Yeah. Well, if we both get jobs this summer and save up, we'll get them in no time. We just have to wait. Or we could steal one. We can't do that. We never do something like that. Oh, I totally have to go. Hey, that. hey, check it out. Layla? Look, I found a stray dog. Um, how do you know that she's a stray? Do you still call her? Because I don't. Today's my lucky day. I'm gonna name you Queen. You can't do that. I'm sure she already has a name, and I'm sure she belongs to someone. Don't be so dramatic. Now come on before someone sees us. That's stealing. Besides, wasn't the plan for us to get puppies together? Danny, are you listening to me? Could you please just stop? I'm tired of you being goody two shoes all the time. Look, it's the same dog. I told you she belongs to someone. No, Queen belongs to me. Her name is Layla, and how could you say that? Imagine how worried sick her owners must be. I don't want to talk about this anymore. 1701 Birch Street, I know this address. It's only a few blocks away. We can still go. No, Queen is my dog now. Finders keepers. What are you even saying? She already has an owner. Look, what does mom tell us? If you're an honest person, it'll always come back to you. So please, let's just do the right thing. No, the owners probably don't even care about her. He or she is the reason why Queen is lost in the first place. Dogs get lost all of the time. Are you even hearing yourself right now? I don't have time for a lecture. Come on, Queen, we're going to your new home. Don't just leave, Danny. So, what are you gonna tell mom, huh? The truth, that I found a stray dog. Layla isn't a stray! Ugh! I'll get you some water. Come here, Queen. Do you want some water? Queen! Here you go. Queen, come here. If you call her by her real name, she might actually come. Come here, Layla, come here, get some water. You see? Whatever. Why isn't Queen drinking her water? What's wrong with her? She's probably sad, and she probably misses her owner. Alyssa! Danny! Mom! You won't Shh. believe! Don't ruin this for me! Hey, Mom! Guess what I found? Hey, honey, what is that dog doing here? I found her on the street. Sweetheart, she probably belongs to somebody. Oh, you poor little thing. Are you lost? Do you know where your owner is? I'm her owner. Clearly no one wants her, so can we keep her? I don't know. You don't know where she came from? Come on, let's just... Quiet. Uh, no idea. Well, can we keep her? Well, I thought you and Alyssa were gonna save up and get your own puppies together. We were, but when we found Queen on the street, it was like she wanted to come home with us, and we couldn't say no to her. 
So can we please, please, please keep her, please? <sighs> she is the cutest little dog. <laughs> All right, Danny. We can give it a try. But if we find the owner, we're gonna have to give her back, okay? Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Hey, give it back. Hey, Wait, is back. that a dog collar? She had a collar all along. It says her name is Layla. I can't believe you took the collar off of Layla just to act like she was a stray. Danny, uh, is that true? I... You knew she had an owner. Well, it is. We saw a missing dog flyer on our way here. It even had Layla's address on it, but Danny ignored it and threw it away. Explain yourself, young lady. I'm so sorry, Mom. I saw the puppy and I just couldn't wait anymore. I wanted one so bad. I am so disappointed in you. We'll talk about this later, but first we have to get Layla to her rightful owner. I think I remember their address. It was on the flyer. Well, great, let's go. Come on, Layla. And don't think you're getting out of this. You're coming too. Ugh. Okay, you explain this. Me? Mm -hmm. Wait, why me? Why can't we just leave Layla on the door? Layla! <laughs> oh, 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 hi, you're home. I was so worried. Oh, thank you so much. You really have no idea how much this means to me. I can imagine. Me and my sister don't have a dog yet, but we really want one. Well, Layla is more than just a dog to me. You see, a long time ago, my wife and I went to the hospital for a standard checkup. We had no idea that we were about to get some really bad news. The doctor came in and told us my wife had cancer and only had a few weeks left to live. We'd never cried so hard. After that, the symptoms started. My wife couldn't eat any food and was throwing up all the time. All she would do was lay on the couch and cry. That is, until I brought Layla home. <laughs> Layla gave my wife so much love. It was the first time I had seen my wife smile in such a long time. So you see, Layla is more than just a dog to me. She helped my wife and I through our hardest time. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I don't know, um, your wife passing? M oh, <laughs> no, thank God. No, 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 my wife is, is still with us. <laughs> Norman, is everything okay? Yes, yeah, come here, come look. Layla's home. <gasps> It's all thanks to this nice girl. Oh, I couldn't take all the credit. Uh, it's because of my sister and my mom, too. <laughs> Would you excuse me? Oh, thank you so much. My husband, Layla, and I, and, well, Layla's pups really appreciate it. Layla has pups? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Wanna hold one? Really? You can hold one too. Really? Oh my gosh. This one is so cute. What is their name? Oh, they don't have one yet. We were going to let the new owners name them. We don't really have the space to keep them, so we were going to sell them. But I think if you want, each one of you can keep it. If it's OK with your mom, that is. Seriously? Oh my gosh, I wanted a puppy. Well, hold on. Uh, the agreement was for each of you to work and to save for your puppies. So I'm sorry, but I'm not buying them for you. Oh, no, 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 it would be no cost. You brought Layla home. Yeah, they're yours, free of charge. Just promise to take care of them and bring them around once in a while to visit. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I I've always believed that if you're an honest person, it always comes back to you. This is your honesty for bringing back Layla, coming back to you. Wow, that is very generous of you two. 
So, Mom, can we get them? Please, please, please. Well... All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so Aww. much. Thank you. And we promised we'll bring them by to come and visit. No. God bless you guys. God bless you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Today has been the best day ever. Thank you so much, Mom. You're so welcome. I hope you learned your lesson. I did, and going forward, I will always be an honest person. <laughs> so, what are you gonna name yours? I was thinking we can name them Prince and Princess. Oh. What do you think? Oh, I love that. Come on, guys. <laughs> Have you ever seen a turtle eat a cricket before? No. Do you want to? I guess. Okay, hold this. Now which one of you little cuties want to get eaten first, huh? Um, actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to see it. Don't worry. This is what turtles eat. Okay, just... Watch this. Shoot! Oh, it... oh, forget it. Jada, you can't just leave that plastic bag like that. Who cares? Look at all this trash. One plastic bag will not make a difference. Yes, it will. And look, it's going to the storm drain. You know how bad it'll be if it goes in there? Go get it. Nah, it's too far now. Gotcha! Great! Now, why don't you just pick up all the other trash, too? Oh, yeah! That's a great idea. Uh, come on, I wasn't being serious. Marie! I'm not waiting around for this. You can just meet me at my house when you're done. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna miss you, Michelangelo. Michelangelo? Yeah, I thought I'd name him after my favorite Ninja Turtle. Even though I just got you, it's gonna be so hard leaving you. Yes, it is. Mm. We'll just be gone for a day. So, uh, what's the plan? Oh, um, my mom is going to take us to her lake house. Then I'll need sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, can you see who texts me? Uh, yeah. Oh, shoot! Uh, do you have a towel? Yeah, 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 one second. <sighs> Got it. Shoot. <sighs> What are you doing? Don't put that in the toilet. Why not? <sighs> These aren't flushable. What do you mean? They flush just fine. I'm not saying it won't flush. I'm saying it's not good to flush. Unlike toilet paper, wipes don't break down in water. They actually get stronger. So they're really bad for the environment. Uh, look, you see? Oh my gosh, Marie, please, just get off my back. I'm being serious. These can find their way back in the ocean and be really bad for the marine life. Like, imagine something happened to Michelangelo. How would you feel? Uh, bad? Exactly. So think about his brothers and sisters. Give me a break. One wipe in the toilet won't do anything. You're exaggerating. One plastic bag, one wipe, it will all start making a difference after a while. We should be a part of the solution, not the pollution. Please stop with these stupid lectures. Since when did you become such a tree hugger? I always cared about the environment, but I guess I started caring more after hearing about Team C's. Team who? Team C's. Um, it's a new project that Mr. B started to help reduce ocean pollution. 
I saw Jarman and a bunch of other YouTubers talk about it. I really hope you won't be like this all weekend. If so, me and Michelangelo can just stay at home. Let's go. I can't believe your mom has a house by the lake. It's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, go along. Okay. okay. Yuck! <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, but I almost fell in all of this garbage. This lake used to be so clean. It's so sad how bad it's gotten. Oh. Look at that lady. That's so nice of her. I should help too. Uh, what are you doing? Cleaning up the mess. Wanna help? You can pick. No! Up. Look, I don't wanna waste my weekend picking up garbage. Ew. Come on, let's go. Just give me a few. You're seriously ridiculous. I'm just gonna keep walking. Okay. Oh, you're gonna be okay. Wow, I didn't realize there were so many turtles around here. Oh, there used to be more. But, have a seat. Sadly, a lot are gone. Really? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Well, take this little guy for example. Poor thing, he's stuck in plastic. Is he gonna be okay? Hmm? He will be now. Go on, little fella. Aw, <laughs> that makes me so happy. He's one of the lucky ones. There are thousands that get stuck like this until they, you know. They what? Die. Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, ocean pollution is a big problem. And if we don't do something to stop it, it's only gonna get worse. That's why I try my best to come out here, do as much as I can to help. That's really nice of you, but don't you think it's a little pointless? I mean, there's so much trash around here, and I can't even imagine how much there is all over the world. Do you really feel it's gonna make a difference? Well, it made a difference to him. Wow, I never really thought of it like that. Thank you so much for everything you do. I'm out here every week if ever you want to join me. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will. All right. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Raphael. Bye, Donatella. Bye, Leonardo. I'll see you soon. <laughs> bye. May I help? Oh, what? Really? But I felt it I realized I want to be a part of the solution and not the pollution. <laughs> okay, um, you can pick and I'll hold the bag. Sounds great. <laughs> oh look, there's more trash right there. You want to get it? That's a great idea. <laughs> Guess what? I've met all of the Ninja Turtles. Raphael, Donatello. You better get ready for school. I'm not going to school. I'm, I'm <laughs> pretending so I don't have to do our English test. Hopefully you'll be better before the big exam tomorrow. Mom's gonna find out. Are you doing all right, sweetheart? You sound really sick. We should take you to the doctors. 